I am always being asked why someone might be rhesus negative when both parents are positive. A person with rhesus negative blood can indeed have rhesus positive parents due to the way the RH factor is inherited through genetics. The RH factor is controlled by a specific gene that has two main variants or alleles RH positive and RH negative. The RH positive allele is dominant, meaning that if a person inherits at least one RH positive allele, they will have RH positive blood. The RH negative allele is recessive, so a person needs to inherit two RH negative alleles, one from each parent, to have RH negative blood. Here is how it works. RH positive individuals can have either homozygous RH positive and RH positive genes or heterozygous RH positive and a RH negative gene. If someone is RH positive, RH positive, they will pass the RH positive allele to their children. If someone is RH positive and RH negative, they pass either the RH positive or the RH negative allele to their children. Now if both parents are RH positive, but each of them have a heterozygous RH positive, RH negative, they can each pass the RH negative allele to their children. When both parents pass the RH negative allele, the children will have RH negative blood. Here's how this would look in a genetic cross between two RH positive, RH negative parents. In this case, there is 25% chance that the child will be RH negative, RH negative, meaning they will have RH negative blood even though both parents are RH positive. Thus, someone with RH negative blood can have RH positive parents if both parents are heterozygous for the RH factor. As you can see from this, when people say they have pure serpent blood, meaning they think they are of the serpent bloodline, that is very misleading. Someone is only pure serpent bloodline if they come from unbroken serpent bloodline lines on both sides of their families, with no mixing with anyone who is from a hybrid line. Being of a serpent bloodline is more than just a blood type. The serpent bloodline is the origin of the ORH negative blood, but that doesn't mean everyone who has it is one. It just means that they have some of the genes. All modern humans, apart from some who are pure B positive lines, have some serpent genes. When someone who is hybrid says they are pure serpent bloodline, it is like saying a liger is pure tiger or lion. And for those who don't understand why the serpent bloodline likes to keep pure lines, it is like all tigers or lions completely dying out and only ligers being left. We want to preserve our species, our traditions and our teachings.